Welcome to Exploring Arizona Life Science Research and Biodiversity with the Tree of Life Web Project. Visit podcasts at towweb.org for learning materials to accompany this episode and to find out how to contribute to the series. I'm Lisa Schwartz, Tow Learning Materials Editor. This group of podcasts features Brad Lancaster, Tucson permaculture expert, leading participants in a two-day volunteer workshop to use water harvesting techniques to revegetate an urban landscape adjoining the Nature Conservancy's headquarters and a busy street here in Tucson, Arizona. The participants included students in a University of Arizona soil, water, and environmental science course on water harvesting taught by Professor James Riley, community volunteers, and Peace Corps fellows at the UA. This first episode is an overview of why water harvesting promotes biodiversity, some of the techniques that can be utilized, as well as the diverse perspectives and activities of the people that join together to make this project happen. Please view the additional podcast for greater attention to the different aspects of this overview episode. So uh, we're here at the Tucson Nature Conservancy, and uh, this is going to become a public demonstration site for water harvesting and other sustainability strategies for living in balance in, within the southwestern United States and the Sonoran Desert ecosystem. So we're slowing, spreading, and sinking the flow of the water into the soil so that it can then be pumped back out with the living pumps of vegetation to grow shade, wildlife habitat, beauty, food, medicinal characteristics, and so on. On day one, Brad explained some permaculture strategies called earthworks that will be used for harvesting water and creating sustainable Sonoran desert habitat on the site. A permaculture basic is to reuse materials, so berms were created with the soil removed to create basins. The runoff used to just flow right off the slope, past all of you, into the street. Okay? So, we're trying to start to harvest more of that water higher in the watershed. Our basins are down there, right next to the street. So by putting in this berm, we start to harvest the water sooner. As the students and volunteers worked, I asked them how this activity fit into their interests. I'm interested in how this cuts down on people's, uh, or subsidizes their budget, household budget. You're about to get a political issue for people who are off the grid in like illegal settlements hoping in a lot of areas, in, in Nogales, in Tijuana, um, we're hoping it reduces some of the massive stormwater runoff through these denuded and uh, vegetated mm -hmm. neighborhoods and cause a lot of flooding problems and health problems along the way too. So I'm really interested in it for social justice as well as being environmentally sustainable and making everyone happy. Students from many different majors are interested in water harvesting. My name is uh, Prabhjit Dirti, and I'm a psychology senior. So I'm mostly concerned with environmental psychology and uh, sustainability. I guess it shows people how they're using the place where they live to save resources, um, keeping your location much healthier. I'm a soil water environmental science major with a focus in water, learning about in the southwest desert about conserving water, turning uh, in this case soil into a uh, cistern within the within the ground. Since we only get 12 inches of rainfall per year here at Tucson, it's a priority to retain the water for more of a native type landscape. Talking with the students showed me that they really understood the permaculture techniques that Brad espouses. So this mulch is just some trees that you needed to trim anyways? Uh, actually, we didn't even trim. They, this is, these are the dead branches that were laying on the ground. Oh. Uh, so it's, it's uh, the best of both worlds. I'm cleaning up here, picking up uh, the debris and creating uh, habitat for seeds to stick and uh, trying to maintain the burn from erosion. Some of the students discuss why they appreciate their SWES water harvesting course and their thoughts on infusing sustainability issues into the curriculum. So this is fun because you're actually getting to do real things? Yeah, I mean, we, we meet two hours a week and um, we get to learn about how to water harvest and then we actually get to go out and do it on the weekends, so I think that's pretty cool. Incorporating sustainable development isn't isn't that hard because it's so multidisciplinary. You see right. it everywhere, and you can take five minutes in the class period and and introduce the lesson, or you can teach the lesson in a way that uh, emphasizes sustainability every single time you teach. 
Two SWAS students talked to me about the challenges to desert biodiversity posed by development that blades the land and compacts the soil. But they had a positive message about water harvesting. Doing this, and you know, maybe there's a good chance it could catch on. I mean, we're living in a desert. This desert is, uh, it just reached a million people, and uh, our water supply is not very big. And so, if people um, start to come to and realize, hey, our population's growing and our water well isn't getting any higher, they might decide to start infiltrating the water to try and, you know, diminish that. Planting trees is always smart. So, this tree here because of all this water it will harvest, will eventually grow to be 25 feet tall and wide, shading over both street and walkway and acting as a living air conditioner, cooling temperatures in summer by up to 10 degrees. People definitely save money. Be sure and watch the other episodes of this water harvesting series to see what was planted in the basins on day two. Learn about the water harvesting techniques students and volunteers are using in their own homes, as well as on the UA campus, and to learn more about students' research. Many thanks to Brad Lancaster, the students, volunteers, and teachers, and the Nature Conservancy.